In this tutorial, I will show you hidden feature inside Unreal, and with just one console command and few easy steps, you're gonna get 90% ready quad remesh of your face scan. And you can easily take this further and use not only for your face scans, but also some AI generated faces or character faces. My name is Mars Fremenis and let's jump into it. If you have never used Unreal Engine, there are two main important things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need to install Unreal Engine. I would recommend 5.42. That's the version I'm gonna use and there's no reason to use older ones. And the other thing is, if we go here to the marketplace section, you're gonna need to search for MetaHuman, MetaHuman plugin. Make sure to click Install to Engine, and it's already installed for me, but here you're gonna select your 5.4 version and install. So after that, we can jump into our project. So you're gonna set up new project. So if you have never used Unreal Engine before, I have Star Wars themed step-by-step -step guide how you can get started in your Unreal Engine journey. First thing we're gonna need to do is enable plugins. So we're gonna go Edit, Plugins, and find MetaHuman. Here is the MetaHuman plugin, install, yes, and restart. Then you can just drop your scans inside Unreal Engine. I'm gonna leave everything in default and just click, click import. So once we have imported our static mesh and our texture, we can just create a quick material. Doesn't matter how you name it, open it up. We're just gonna assign the texture here. We're gonna put it as a base color. And then we can just assign the material. So now what we're gonna do is, before we are creating our, before we go into the next step, we need to enter the console command. So you can here see there is a console command window you can enter here, or if you want, I usually prefer output log, which is under windows and output log. You can enable it. So you're gonna enter this console command, mh.identity.exportmesh, meshes, we're gonna do a space and we're gonna do one. So now it set this to the true. This is that hidden feature that actually turns your scan into the quad mesh, not the triangle mesh that would export uh, normally here, created by from the identity. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to MetaHuman anima Animator. We're gonna choose MetaHuman Identity, name it to whatever you want, like uh, doesn't really matter. That's how your MetaHuman would be named normally. But since we are not making one, it doesn't really matter. And uh, now you're just gonna need to log in into your Epic account if you have never done it. So now you're gonna go to create components from mesh, uh, find your mesh. So mine is called scan aligned. I'm just gonna click it. So now we have our scan. Uh, we can turn around, get our face. I have more detailed tutorial coming up with what when it comes to face scanning and adjusting parameters here. But now we're just gonna go our very quickly very basic thing so what we would do is click promote the frame we're gonna click ok so now just zoom it in something like this and then we're gonna click here and we're gonna do auto tracking on get, get kind of like that frontal view and then we're gonna click again and click lock camera and i'm gonna go more in the detail uh i have a tutorial coming up but for this tutorial sake, this is what I'm gonna leave and not gonna add any like, you know, nose, lips, eyes or anything like that. Normally you would, the more points you can put, the more accurate your mesh gonna be. But for the tutorial sake, this is gonna be all right. I just wanna show you how really it creates the mesh. Then after that, you're gonna create MetaHuman Identity Solve. So now it's gonna create that MetaHuman head so after it's finished, now if we click uh, B, A, so we can see it has created actually a MetaHuman. So now the coolest thing is, if you go back and we can create, we can click on any mesh here. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna click show in Explorer. It's gonna open up your project folder. Let's go to the root and then we're gonna find this folder called saved. Open that up. And now in the saved folder, uh, we can find a folder that's going to be called after our mesh. So we, our mesh was called scan mesh, the MetaHuman we created. So we have a folder scan mesh. So this is our retopology mesh. So now we can open up something like Blender, for example, to check it out how accurate it actually was. So, and here's our retopologized mesh. Uh, we can see it's fully a quad mesh. And also we can now import our scan just so we can compare. And I would say it actually overlaps from just this 
from these actually few steps that we did, I would say actually it's pretty good. So here you go. Actually, this is probably one of the easiest topology ways I have ever tried and it works perfectly. And again, as I said, you can spend more time with these for the lips, nose, nostrils and all that to improve the really, really accuracy of the tracking. Because we can see actually, if you zoom closer, we could adjust tiny bit the eyes. So this is something you can do to get really accurate results. And I would really recommend to do that. And that's what I usually do for my scans. But I just wanted to quickly guys show you really cool way how you can get your scans retopologized and then later on use them to, let's say, transform your metahuman faces. Because the cool thing is, this mesh is metahuman face. It has the same vertices and all the vertex, vertex order, the same as the metahuman head has. I hope guys you enjoyed this video and it helped you in your project. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you the next one. Bye. We can now import our scan just so we can compare. And I would say it actually overlaps from just this, from these actually few steps that we did. I would say actually it's pretty good. So here you go. Actually, this is probably one of the easiest topology ways I have ever tried and it works perfectly. And again, as I said, you can spend more time with these for the lips, nose, nostrils and all that to improve the really, really accuracy of the tracking. Because we can see actually, if you zoom closer, we could adjust tiny bit the eyes. So this is something you can do to get really accurate results. And I would really recommend to do that. And that's what I usually do for my scans. But I just wanted to quickly guys show you really cool way how you can get your scans retopologized and then later on use them to, let's say, transform your metahuman faces. Because the cool thing is, this mesh is metahuman face. It has the same vertices and all the vertex, vertex order, the same as the metahuman head has. I hope guys you enjoyed this video and it helped you in your project. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you the next one. Bye.